here for his dinner for the game tonight. He looked very well, looked pretty fit, not limping. Can I assume he'll be fit for the Arsenal game? But, uh, <laughs> he's, he's better, uh, he's getting better. Uh, if he can walk and have dinner, that means that uh, he, he is completely fit. Came back for his pudding too. Yeah. <laughs> Is, no, 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 it's getting better and uh, hopefully we have still two days tomorrow and Saturday to prepare the game and hopefully we can have we can have him for the session at least Saturday and then we take the decision. Davide. Ciao, Edson. Uh, when, when you face a, a team like Arsenal, it's supposed to be a Premier League game. Do you evaluate your team in a different way? Like you look looking for something different from your team? Uh, we always looking for something different, no matter if it's Arsenal or another team, to see how we can attack and defend in the right way. Uh, we did this season uh, against any team, for sure Arsenal, uh, I said in this moment, is the closest one to the best team in England, that is City. But uh, we're going to try to do our our game uh, and prepare in the best way we can and try to, to win. Simon? And so, um, you've obviously got off to a pretty good start as, as Chelsea head coach, but do you think you're missing that statement win? Is that the only thing that you've missed so far? You played the loss to City, lost to Liverpool, drew against Man United. Do you think you need that against Arsenal? To really no, uh, <laughs> For sure, I would like to win this kind of game, but uh, since we start, I always said the same that. Uh, uh, for sure, I analyze the result, but first of all, I analyze the performance. And do you think we deserve to lose against Liverpool? Me too. But uh, it's football. Uh, now, hopefully, we can win Sunday. We can win that kind of game. But also, I think at the end, it's, it's in this competition in the Premier League, uh, it's important and it's difficult to win against any team. Uh, for sure, if I can decide, I would like to win against uh, Arsenal on, si on, sun on Sunday, no doubt. But also, I think uh, Liverpool away, the performance was very good. We didn't deserve to lose, uh, even City. Uh, the, the good thing is that we are there. We are there and you cannot see a big difference when we play this kind of game. And this is the most important thing. For sure, I don't have doubt if it's Sunday or it's next game. But for sure, we're going to be there and uh, win this kind of game, no doubt. Andy? Hi, Enzo. Um, just looking across at yourself and Mikel Arteta, both, fair to say, learned a lot from Pep Guardiola, both worked with him. It's almost like two of his kind of disciples are now coming together. Do you feel that, do you see in Arsenal, do you see stuff in Arteta's style of management that he may have learned and you've taken stuff from Pep Guardiola as well? Uh, the only thing I can say is that uh, for sure I learned many things from Pep. Uh, if I'm here today, uh, it's, it's probably because the amount of things that I have been lucky to learn next to him. Uh, then I think uh, Mikel also has his own idea, uh, the same than, than, than me, what I try. And then uh probably both we have to be thankful because we work uh, aside beside uh, next to the the one that I consider the best manager in the world so uh, probably uh, both we have been quite lucky to work with uh, with pep and is he better friends with you than he is with ah oh, this is a question <laughs> this is a, the, your question is exactly tonight game it's a tricky question it's very dangerous if you don't take serious, you know. <laughs> so you're, so yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm friend with Pep, and that's it. Rob. Um, Chelsea lost five 0 to Arsenal the last time they played last season. Have you watched that game in the last few yeah. days? Has talk that game featured much in conversations with? No, I, I didn't watch the game in the last days. Um, I watched the game in the summer when I watched all the next uh, last season games. So I watched that game in the summer. Uh, I'm now more focused on what they are doing this season than next season. But uh, uh, for sure that game 
uh, was a big, huge defeat for us, for the club, and hopefully we can we can do something different on Sunday. Jacob, there's a lot of um, focus thing this season on the kind of tactics that Arsenal use at set pieces. Also, they don't seem sort of very afraid to make a game and kind of frustrating for the other team. You've got a developing side. Are you going to warn your players about you know the way it might be with Arsenal, how mentally tough they might make it? Oh yeah, for sure it will be mentally will be very tough. Set pieces they are very good, but not only against uh, against us. I think they are very good against any team. I watched two days ago, the uh, two days ago uh, last night Champions League game against Inter, and every corner was uh, was a smelling goal. So they are top on that, and we're gonna try to to deal with that in the best way. And also, I mean, given the expectation that's been on them this season to challenge Manchester City, you know, you were saying that they're the best team behind behind City. Mm-hmm. The results that they've had recently, do you think that the pressure might be more on them going into this game? I don't know. I also like to, to get the pressure from this kind of game, so the pressure is also for us. But uh, for sure, as I said, for me, they are the closest one with the uh, City. Both, I consider them better than the rest. And the reason why I said many times is because one club is working with the same manager nine years and the other one is working with the same manager five years. And this is a big, 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 huge advantage compared to the rest. So for me, that's why they are in this moment better than the rest. But we're going to try Sunday to make uh, the, the life difficult for them. We're going to try our best. Ian. So, um, I know for a lot of Chelsea fans who's came on Sunday, it's the biggest game of the season, the biggest away game of the season. Is that the same for you as well? Do you feel this is the biggest game you've had at the season? No, and the reason why is because I try to take every. You, you, you don't know how I was worried tonight against uh, the, the, this, this team. And I try to take all the game in the same way, uh, serious, uh, preparing the best way how we can attack good, how we can defend good. And I try to take all the game in the same way. Uh, and tonight game, I was very, very worried because tonight game is the one that it's easy to drop because mentally you are not ready and you have to be ready. But again, if you ask me uh, in the next two games, which one you want to win, for sure, I want to win both. But if I, I have to take one, I take the next one. Also because in two games, we play Leicester away that uh, um, I feel... Um, I feel very close to them. And last question, over here. And so how challenging is it playing Thursday and Sunday for you, the players? Does it kind of winning breed success or is it you having to rotate all the time in the squad? No, all the time, no. In this moment, also, we are quite lucky that we don't have injury. So we have 24, 25 players and we can choose. I think uh, the way we are trying to do the things since we start, also, we protect players. Because one thing is to play three games a week, and one the other thing is to play just one. I think we protect uh, the player in this moment, but that means that uh, is going to happen all season. Because also be a moment where there are injury or we need to change things. But in this moment, we are almost uh, yeah we are in November, and we are every every game we change players, and probably fortunately also we we don't have injury in this moment. Great. So thank you. Tom, can I just pick what one thing you, you mentioned there, uh, Enzo, was the pressure, and you like the pressure mm-hmm. in these games. The pressure seems even greater at the moment. Is that because Chelsea are, if you like, back? You know, last couple of years, Chelsea against Arsenal has not been seen as such an even contest. But with what you've done so far this season, it's almost like this is a big chance, and, and the, the pressure is is increased because of that. And is that why you're thriving on it? I don't know the last two years, uh, I was the feeling. In this moment, uh, the, f- the feeling from us is that we can compete and we can uh, win against any team. And <laughs> if you don't take serious and if you don't do the right things, also you can lose against any team. But for sure, we have the, the right feeling that we go in the, dire- in the right direction. And hopefully Sunday we can give our fans uh, a good day. OK, thank you. Thank you. Comments now.